Hey everybody, Todd Vandermeid back for another edition of Freedom Steel. Longtime NRA contract lobbyist, Illinois gun law guru. And so you guys have been really interested in my videos uh, about how all the nuances of the features test and mag ban are working in the Illinois gun ban. And so a bunch of you commented about the five round capacity on semi-auto shotguns and the mini shell issue and said, Todd, you forgot. No, I didn't forget. I just wanted to deal with one issue on the shotguns at a time so that we didn't run into a 30 minute video. It seems that our 15 minute size is about the right size to get people in, out, conversed on a subject, get them informed and give us the time to do what we need to do. So. Um, no, I didn't forget. So here we have my 1187 shotgun. Uh, so it's got a factory standard magazine fixed to the gun right here. Plug is removed. And we're going to see what happens when you have a standard shotgun and so we're going to do the mini shells first thing we're going to do she's empty so let's see what we have here one two three four Five, six, there's the illegal one, seven, it'll hold seven minis, no problem. The law doesn't require the gun to function or cycle with these. It only says a fixed magazine with the capacity of more than five rounds. They don't define the rounds. Remember, you know, traditional 12 gauges, you know, two and three quarter, three inch, which were considered the magnums of the day. And then to compete with the 10 gauges, we went to the three and a half inch 12 gauge. And I can tell you that uh, another shotgun has, will hold four right off the get go with a plug in it for three and a half inch shells. So I know it's going to hold as many if not more than this 1187 well uh, so with that yeah all these modern semi-autos if you use mini shells will hold more than five rounds with the plug removed and the issue is remember when it talks about this it, you know in the magazine section down to section 1.10 or can be converted to and that's what our last one was about with the magazine tube conversions for shotguns and how we can clearly make those go more than five rounds with standard ammunition with what the barrels are marked for in a chamber capacity. Uh, and so it just, I think these are illegal. I think they wrote something in such a broad way that they didn't put the details into it that here, once again, it would be illegal to, to sell a standard 1187 because the plug is not a permanent fixture. Plugs are designed to be removed typically. They're not permanent fixtures within the shotgun. Uh, you know, you can go to a put and take club and hunt pheasants all day long with, you know, a full complement of, of five and one. Or if you have an extended tube on a gun, you can sit there and put eight, nine shells in the gun. And that's legal on a put and take club. Snow goose season. You don't have to have a plug in the gun. You're allowed to run it that way. And so with all of that, uh, with these mini shells and everything... Um, I think they've got a whole nother problem on their hands because as I just showed you on your baseline 1187, I can, it'll hold seven shotgun rounds, seven. 
two more than the five limit that they've got. And it just causes them a whole nother round of problems as to why. That all these guns, when you start adding up all these numbers, that these are firearms clearly in common use by the millions. So we're going to have our the donation but a link down below for the second amendment defense and education committee uh please these lawsuits cost money we are going to be in court next week for our oral arguments a week from today so with that um it's always helpful guys the the bills are stacking up we're going to need to be able to pay for this up front to keep the lawyers working really hit that um uh, button and donate whether whether you can afford five dollars here or more 500 we appreciate every nickel every shekel that goes into it we know how hard you work for it and you know think about this the cost of one good firearm is the ante into the poker game that you guys will have so that we protect these rights for not only our kids but our grandkids and our great grandkids going forward so as always, hit that like, subscribe button, smash uh, the notification bell so you get that as we work our way towards 10,000 subscribers. I uh, really want to thank everybody for all you've done to help make this channel a success. Stopped on the road the other day. I was running a machine. And oh, before we forget, uh, if you want to know where we've been, here's a quick picture uh, from my vantage point from the D5 as we're not getting new parking lots over at the Aurora Sportsman's Club. But guys, um, it, it's great to meet you guys when I'm out on the road or I'm at events and, and people recognize me, whether they call me the Gun Santa, Todd, Freedom Steel, whatever. Uh, and, and the wife has noticed the thank you notes and comments you guys have sent to her when picking up patches and, and things like that. So really... Uh, your appreciation and, and generosity and, and thoughtfulness does not go unnoticed. And uh, it it's why I thought I had the greatest job in the world representing all of you for 25 years as the contract lobbyist for NRA here in the state. So as always, guys, thank you again. Stay tuned. We'll have some more videos coming out. And as always, frag out. <laughs>